welcome back to my channel. My name is Venetia Alexander Marshall and welcome. If you are new here, hi, how are you? Don't forget hit subscribe button at the bottom and make sure you're clicking the notification bell so every time I'm uploading a new video, you are notified. It has been forever since the last time I have recorded a video. I know you're seeing some videos coming up late and these are videos I recorded late April, early May and we're in June. Uh, it's been a lot going on. A whole, whole, whole lot going on. A lot of traveling that we've been doing as well. So that's why you're now seeing those videos going up late. It's because I recorded videos before my husband and I went out of town to Chicago. And then since then, we've been out of town with travel basketball uh, for my son. So yeah, I have decided this whole time, you know what? Let me go ahead and pull some of this makeup out. And I've had this makeup sitting up here forever in a day. So the next few videos is pretty, pretty much going to be featuring one brand because so much makeup has come out. I have so much new makeup. I haven't had a chance to go through a lot of the new makeup, but now I'm making it an effort to go through the new makeup. Plus, after I do this video, I am headed out for a couple of errands to go run right quick and then coming back to clean my house and do my nails because, yes, I have a busted nail right here. See, I ain't got no nail here. And then this one is broken. I got to fix it because I'm singing in church tomorrow. But yeah, that's what's going on. And I have decided to feature one brand for, again, for the next couple of videos because I have so much new makeup. So today we're going to be featuring e.l.f. I have a lot of new makeup from e.l.f. e.l.f. has been coming out with the makeup. And then as I'm doing this video, I just saw Michaela upload a short that elf then came out with some new foundation i knew eventually elf was gonna come out with some foundation i just knew it i just knew it so in the meantime i have all this other makeup from elf a lot of it is new one is a redo it was in my maybe stack and i decided to retest it again actually it was a couple of them in my maybe stack i decided to retry them again so come on come on come on we need a little catching up to do I am going to take these glasses off, don't worry, but we got some catching up to do. So come on, come on, let's play with some makeup featuring Elf. As always, I do have my handy dandy mirror with me, and yes, as you can see, I have taken off my glasses. My face is very clean, so we're going to go ahead and get started with makeup. Again, everything I'm putting on my face today, it is Elf. I am putting out, putting out, I am putting on Elf today, and also, you know, kind of catching up on <clears throat> my makeup videos and like I said I am heading out the door for a few errands that I gotta run and make my way back so let's go ahead and let's start with a primer this primer has everybody by the choco I do know elf has re-released their jelly pop primer I had that primer several years ago when it first came out limited edition initially I liked it and I was like mm, I don't know but of course when um Milk Makeup came out with the power with their gripping primer and everybody was going to the gripping primer. So of course I got the dupe for it, the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Absolutely love this. I I have been using this. The one with the not cinnamite, I've been using that one too. I always go back to this and of course the original OG itself, the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. So I am going to start with this um, Power Grip Primer. And of course, you know, e.l.f. has become, or what I am saying, e.l.f. has become the brand of the dupes. Because they dupe in every high-end product. They are duping every high-end product, child. But they coming out with it. And I don't know, I've been a fan of e.l.f. for so many years. Um... When I was in high school and in college, they didn't really have foundation shades as dark as me as they do now. Now they do. Um, and Maybelline was that brand for me. But then as I really started getting back into makeup, I have uh, like gotten into e.l.f. Other than Maybelline, I always would go back to Maybelline. But for some reason, e.l.f. has just been it uh, for me. And has been it for me for the last, I want to say, since I've been doing YouTube. And that's from my other channel from back in 2017, I think, or 2018 or something like that. That's how long I've really been into e.l.f. 
All right, so we got the Power Grip Primer on, and yes, it is, it is grippy. If you don't know, you better go pick some up. For foundation, I am using their new um, e.l.f. Hydrating Camo CC Cream. I got the same shade I am in in the original CC Cream, which is, I believe it is 540N. That's what it is. I have 540N. That's what I am in the original. I kind of glad I got this because the other one, I'm actually almost out of it because I do use it a lot. I'm going to do the same thing I do how I apply the other uh, Camo CC Cream. I just pump it onto my finger and I just put it on my face and I do use a uh, brush. I did pick up some new brushes uh, from e.l.f. A lot of their brushes I have paid attention to now. Their brushes are dupes for high-end brands. Their brushes are real good dupes and their brushes are very, very, very uh, inexpensive yet um, they're, they're good quality brushes for the prices that you're going to pay uh, for um, those brushes. But I have noticed with this one, the shading is slightly different from the matte version of the Camel CC Cream. I think I like this one a little more. I do go for more of a neutral or neutral golden undertone um, because of I have lighter spots in my face. Like my forehead is more warm, but for the most part I am neutral um, with golden undertones. Um, I don't know, it's something about this one. I like this one a little more than the original, but it's not like with the original I can't, you know, perfect it. Now I have not tried it pairing it with the liquid filter from elf i haven't paired it with it yet i did with the other one paired it with the um liquid filter from elf and if you're not familiar with it you should be familiar with the liquid filter is to do for the charlotte tilbury flawless filter so for this i do like this i do like it i initially got scared but i can tell it's a little different from the original um, the shading is a little different, but I do like it. It is hydrating, so it is loving my very dry skin. Um, but I did take compliments on this CC cream. Now, a little bit goes a long way. It is the same. It is full coverage because it is a CC cream. But I am enjoying it a lot. I did this video on my other channel, a short on my other channel, and I realized I didn't blend it completely out in this area, so I am making sure I am blending it completely out. For concealer, I am going in with the ELF uh, Hydrating Camel, C Camel Concealer. This is the shade uh, Deep Chestnut. I am actually almost out of this. I, I really am almost out of this. I need to get another one. Initially, I didn't like it because it was a little too cool tone for me, but I have used this so much and I really do like it for the brightening. I like this more than the original um, concealer, um, the matte version. I like this one more. Um, this one does help with highlighting. It is full coverage. I have to check the bottle sometimes just to be, yeah, I'm almost out of this stuff. I'm about to get some more of this because this is so so good and just like the majority of people they i initially liked the matte one but then i realized i needed to get the deep um chestnut because i had deep olive and you can definitely tell it was olivey because my face was green and um it dried down really really fast definite dupe for the tart shape tape the original tart shape tape but this is really really good very hydrating and i absolutely enjoy it i don't know why i again i didn't like this one but it grew on me so much i'm almost out of it so i really do 
like this. One of my go-to drugstore um, concealers. I have a few go-to drugstore um, concealers. This is definitely one of them. Um, and very affordable. I think this is $6 or $8 or something like that. And I think the dehydrating CC cream, I think is $14. So it's very, very, very um, inexpensive. So I'm not going to set my face just yet. I am going to go in with their new cream blushes that a lot of people are talking about. I did get two shades. This is their camo blushes. Um, these are the two shades that I have. I have tried both of them. Which one am I going to go with? Can I just say both of these are so super pigmented. You just need a little bit. Everybody's been trying to dupe the Rare Beauty um, cream blush. And yeah, this from e.l.f. pretty much did it. I think I'm going to go with this one. I have used this one a lot. And I think that's why I'm going to go with this one this time. Because I've used this a lot. And I can tell I've been using it too. Yes. So I'm going to use this one instead. Again, you just need a little bit of this uh, cream blush because this cream blush literally goes a long way. Um, I am going to put just a dot. Here we go. Here's my brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of this because literally a little bit goes a long way. And I believe, how much I paid for these blushes? Again, extremely inexpensive. Why am I thinking $3? Is that how much I paid? $3? $4? Something? extremely inexpensive but it's not like the one from rare beauty is super expensive it's more on the affordable side of sephora um but this is even more affordable and i absolutely love their blushes i'm just gonna do one dot here one dot here that's really all you need so now i am gonna take my brush i'm just gonna pat it in look at the pigment Look at this. It matches my shirt. <laughs> look at that. Child, look at that. Look at that. Look at that blush. And the blush is blushing. But I am going to tone it down a little bit because I told you, you just need a little bit of this blush. A little bit of this blush literally goes a long way. I am going to set my face twice. I am going to go in with the e.l.f. Make Me Matte um, powder. They don't offer this anymore. I've had it for a long time. Um, I think this is like my third or fourth one. What it is, is if your foundation is a little off, this powder helps because it's more like a changing. Um, it changes and it meshes with your skin type, but it also makes your skin matte. I know this powder is white, but trust me when I tell you, it works particularly if your foundation is off, it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and set with this. And then the other setting powder is a medium deep shade, but it is not e.l.f. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. All right, next is bronzer. Now let me tell you, right. I got this bronzer from e.l.f. This is their primer infused powder bronzer. This is the shade I got. I'm gonna tell y'all now, you clearly see this is not my shade this ain't gonna work so i am probably gonna put this primer on my poshmark because this ain't gonna work and it's brand new not not used i thought it was darker but of course i get it no it's not it so i am gonna go with my old faithful my elf camo powder foundation i am gonna go in with this this is, I don't know what shade I have because I don't have my glasses on right now, but this is the shade that I have. Yeah, I'm not going to even chance that primer because that's not my shade. That's just not my shade. That's not going to work. So I'm going to go with my Old Faithful, and I absolutely love this powder foundation. I use this as bronzer and to also set the rest of my face. So I am going to go in with this. I don't know what I was thinking. I do not know what I was thinking. Because I did want to try their primer infused bronzer. I do have their primer infused um, blush. I do have that and I do really like the, the primer infused um, blush. But that just came out with that. But that, 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 that ain't work. 
baby, that ain't gonna work. That, that's just not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Next is eyeshadow. I am retrying this little eyeshadow palette. They, I think they had the initial release of this. This was several years ago, and they just came up with additional shades. This is their, uh, what is this? This is their eyeshadow palette. They came out with this, I believe, last year, and I initially tried it. I put it in my maybe stack because I wasn't too sure about this eyeshadow palette because it was like either blending well or not blending well. So I have tried it again, and I'm still kind of like about the same uh, with it. So this might end up being an eyeshadow palette that'll end up in my makeup no-nos. It's, I don't know, it's just... It's not doing it for me. Let's see. I think I'm going to still stick with this brown shade. I'm going to put this brown shade uh, in my crease. Um, like I said, I tried it again. Let's see what happens with it. Yeah, it's... Mm, it's not like the bite size eyeshadow palettes from e.l.f. and those bite size eyeshadow palettes, those are $3 and yet that gives so much pigment. This on the other hand, it's, it's okay. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I can tell you now, I'm probably not going to pick up this palette again. <clears throat> I'm going to pretty much stick with what I know that works. And that's those little bite-sized eyeshadow palettes. That ain't but $3, baby. That gives so much pigment, I'm telling you. The browns. It's the matte. It's very subtle. <clears throat> like I said, I know this is going to be a palette I'm not going to pick up again after today. But, I mean, it's... It's pretty. It's subtle. This can be a good um, fall eyeshadow palette, a good work eyeshadow palette. This is just not going to be an eyeshadow palette that's going to work for me. Um, I should say not work for me. I would say this is not an eyeshadow palette I'm going to pick up again. Not like I do the bite size. I love those bite size. Those bite size eyeshadow palettes are the bomb dot com they better not ever take them bite size palettes away okay don't take them palettes away because child okay i think for my lid duh all right i'm just gonna go with what i know um which is this um little shimmer shade right here i'm gonna put that on my lid all right next is setting spray this is why i held off on doing anything else because when i saw they came out with this uh, Power Grip uh, Setting Spray from Elf, I had to get it. I had to get it. This is definitely a dupe for the Milk Makeup, their Hydro Grip Setting Spray. This is the dupe for it, and I do have that one in the back. I'm not a big fan of that setting spray. However, I am a fan of this one. I like this one more than the other one. I don't know, it's like that one seems a little too oily for me. This is perfect. It gives the right amount of dew. Not overly um, oily or anything like that. It gives that glow. And it does make your makeup last. I just don't like them when they're hydrating sprays. I don't look hydrated. I look greasy. Um, and then it has a fine mist. And I believe with the fine mist, it helps it from not being so overly, overly oily is what it is. And I do like this better than the Milk Makeup. But get this. And then again, affordable. It's not breaking the bank. So definitely pick this up. You know this one in my everyday stack, right? And I'm probably, I wear this since I've gotten it a whole lot more than that Milk Makeup um, Hydro Grip Setting Spray. I wear this one more. That one, mm, not... So much and of course that one was uh pretty expensive next we're gonna go with the mascara now this is supposed to be the dupe for the thrive cosmetics um mascara i've never worn that thrive cosmetics mascara one of the dupes for it was the milani mascara i love that one from milani so elf decided to come up with their lash extender mascara from uh elf the dupe for thrive 
I like the Milani one better than this one. Um, I have tried it. This is what the brush uh, looks like. I'm just not a fan of this mascara like I am with the one from Milani. I mean, it works. Ooh, now this is giving me lash. Hold on, hold on, y'all. I guess this is a mascara I have to let grow on me, I guess. I don't want to look spidery either. Okay, this one is giving me lift. Okay, and now you can see my little baby lashes at the bottom. Okay, now I see your elf. All right, I see you. Yeah, definitely grab my baby lashes. That's definitely for sure. When you grab my baby lashes like that, but the one from Milani also does that very, very well too. It's okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my everyday stack. Well, I wear it a whole lot. I'm not sure. Um, right now with us traveling with uh, Travel Basketball, um, the Milani mascara is the one I currently have in my travel bag. Um, so I would probably do a video of the makeup I wear during the Travel Basketball. I don't wear a whole lot. It's like I have my travel makeup for like trips when we went to like Chicago and we have an upcoming trip to um, Vegas for me and my husband again. And then later on in December, we're spending a week in Orlando for Christmas. Um, so I'm definitely gonna have makeup for that as well. And we're gonna be out there for a week. So I gotta bring beyond the point of enough clothes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put that in my, may in, not maybe, in my everyday stack. Last but not least, lip. Look here, look here, look here, look here. Elf, oh elf, oh elf. Y'all really doing it with these dupes, aren't you? Because let me tell you, I recently, I'm kind of just gonna give it away. I recently did pick up the lip oil from Dior. I did pick it up, but look here, elf. I got the dupe for the lip oil from Dior. I got two. I got two. You see, I have not opened this one yet. So these lip oils from e.l.f., see my favorite lip oil is that fat oil from NYX. I've been wearing that fat oil from NYX for a long minute. I wear that fat oil when I'm singing in church. But I've lately been wearing these lip oils from e.l.f. Okay, I've been wearing this. Which shade it is? I don't know which shade this is that I have. This one is the shade. This is what happens when you don't have your glasses on. Because I took my glasses off. But this is the shade I have for this lip oil. I can't see. I ain't got my glasses on. But I got this one. And I don't know the shade of this one. Y'all probably know the shade. I can't even. I'm telling y'all. It's hard for me to see anything without my glasses. But when I put my glasses on, I'm going to see it. But I'm going to go ahead and put this one on. Oh, do I want to put this one on? No. I'm going to go ahead and put this one on. This is a little more neutral. I also got their Glossy Lip Stain from e.l.f. I did pick this up too. It's in the box. I also picked up, I am not an eyebrow person. If you notice, I don't do nothing with my eyebrows. I don't do all that stuff with the eyebrows. I did pick up that little $2 eyebrow pencil. I did pick this up. I am going to put this and this in my maybe stack. For the simple fact, I haven't opened it. It's still in the, um, in the box. But before I do this lip oil, y'all messed around and created a $2 lip pencil. Y'all got a $2 lip pencil. And as you can see, this is the new one. I had to sharpen it because I've been using the snot out of it. Y'all, let me tell you, I love their lip pencils. And I think this was two bucks. And this lip pencil, look, look at here. Look at the pigment on it. Look, look, look at this pig. Look at the pigment. Look. Look at the pigment. And I'm about to be interrupted because my son and his girlfriend are here. Oh, no, the lawn man. Oh, Lord, the lawn man here. Oh, no, that's the lawn man. Okay. Okay. I thought I was about to be interrupted. Here's the lawn man. <laughs> but these lip pencils, y'all, are so good. They're so good. I usually been using the... Elf and Tiana Major 9 lip pencil, 
um that is good but that is just as good y'all that is just as good so i just lined i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna use this lip oil instead i'm gonna use this lip oil mm. y'all if y'all don't have any lip oils look so here's my final makeup look loving the makeup like i said the only thing that i'm gonna put as a makeup no-no is going to be the eyeshadow palette um it's just not an eyeshadow palette i know for a fact i am not gonna pick this up again so i am gonna put this in my makeup no no's for the simple fact i'm not gonna pick it up and the way i love those bite size eyeshadow palettes i absolutely one million percent love my bite size eyeshadow palettes from elf but everything else i am absolutely loving i am now liking the mascara this lip pencil had me in a choco i'm just saying and the lip oil omg yes so the noise you are hearing that is now <coughs> excuse me my lawn person my lawn people are here so i'm gonna go pay them their money <laughs> so let me go ahead and get out of here and talk to the lawn man right quick with that being said this is venetia alexander marshall hope you have a great day take care bye bye